Hello, I'm Pleskit. This is my content, and today I am doing something weird. I'm going to be taking a look at a bunch of, um, I guess, stuff I'm not too proud of. Uh, stuff I used to do a long time ago. Uh, bootleg shit. And in this case, it's going to be anime. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't do this. You, sh <laughs> you shouldn't illegally download stuff. But, you know, um, if you're going to, then you should really use NordVPN. I'm just joking. I am not sponsored by anyone. I can't even get monetized. So, let's go. Well, I wrote this song for the Christian youth. I want to teach kids the Christian truth. If you want to reach those kids on the street, then you got to do a rap to a hip-hop beat. So I gave my sermon an urban kick. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my nigga. All right, so here we are. I got my got my binder. And I'm going to start just going through all this stuff. But first, I guess I'll give a little backstory. This collection of mine, there's a few legit stuff in here. But this collection started way back in, um, I don't know, I was 15, 16, uh, maybe whenever we had fast enough internet to do this kind of stuff. I had a buddy, uh, he's pretty active, I think still on YouTube, Hypernese, and um, he used to loan me a whole bunch of anime. And he's the one that was like, hey, check out this website, and it's actually still around just not doing what it used to, called AnimeSuki.com. And basically, what uh, it was basically a, a great site, a great resource for finding unlicensed anime, at least, you know, unlicensed outside of Japan. It was a good place to go, uh, discover these new places, these new uh, series that are coming out, and download the torrents. So you can use your torrent downloader to actually get copies of this. And uh, it's all subtitled. And uh, and I actually ended up discovering a whole lot of really good anime thanks to this site. You know, and, I mean, if you're watching this, you know that back in the day, uh, you know, anime was hard to watch. Was, 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 it was hard to find. Um, I mean, there was... There was Toonami, and that was basically it. And um, to get something that hadn't come out yet, I mean, you, I wish I still had it, but I had a bootleg VHS of, uh, well, it was a few VHSs, of the entire series of Flame of Rekka. And uh, that was another awesome. And uh, Paul, he had actually given me those. He, the bootleg ones he got, well, his parents got, from this dealer or whatever, and, uh, and he gave them to me. I hooked up two VCRs, um, and I ripped his copy onto. But then, of course, he, he helped introduce me to Anime Suki and Torrance, and um, the illegally uh, acquired anime. I'm going to start getting into this. So first off, we got right here... Uh, we got Black Cat. That's really good. I never finished it. And there's uh, quite a few of these series I, I downloaded, but I never actually finished uh, watching. But then I got Akira. Uh, I actually have a Blu-ray version of this now. Uh, Blood uh, Plus, it's like a vampire thing. Uh, Black Cat was pretty cool. The one dude's an assassin, and then he gets, you know, he leaves assassin life behind his computer. It, like the first four episodes of the anime is completely different than the rest of the series. And that was kind of jarring because I watched those first four or five episodes. I was like, I really like this. And then I started watching after that where he, the main character, uh, Train, I think it was his name, the Black Cat or whatever. He had, um, his personality completely changed. And I kind of, once that happened, I kind of never finished it, even though I ended up downloading a lot of these episodes and Jonose 
really good episode 10 and 11. I got the rest of the episodes here. That's a really good series. It's really short. It's only 11 episodes. 11? Yeah. I think it's, um, but I really enjoyed that. It's about a kid, well, twins. I get stranded on some kind of weird planet and there's like kind of, um, like political strife going on, but that kind of takes a back seat until like basically the last episode. Uh, coming up next. Okay. This is the main one I was wanting to get into was monster. And yeah, this sucks. Like all, all of these are completely like out of order. Kind of like I'd basically download a bunch of stuff. Then I'll download other stuff. And then basically when I had enough episodes to fill up a whole DVD, I'd fill, fill it up. Sometimes I would get all the same series onto a disc and other times it would be kind of a it'd be a, a mix up <laughs> but yeah monster that was i saw that listing listing on anime suki and i was like ooh monster because at the time i was really super and of course shown in i wanted to watch like the bloody shit elden lead you know all that weird stuff and then when i watched monster that is not it that title does not describe the series at all there's not one beast in it but you think there is okay he's that good and it's probably my all-time favorite anime yeah i think so that's my my favorite all-time anime is monster then another series this is the original full metal alchemist uh series there's about what is it 51 episodes uh it's pretty good i really enjoyed it but the problem is, is I'm not exactly sure which episode, but there's one episode where in which the entire plot is completely different from the rest of this, from the actual manga. So, and that's why you want to watch Full Metal Alchemist um, Brotherhood for the real story or just read the manga because it's, it's pretty good. Oh yeah. And there's another thing is I got a bunch of, uh, Berserk manga on here, volume four through twenty-seven. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't do this, kids. Uh, then, oh yeah, here we go. Bleach. Oh, Phil Alchemist movie, which has nothing to do with fucking anything. But yeah, I was I was super into Bleach. I watched the shit out of that up and through. Um, yeah, the whole Soul Society arc was awesome. Then you get to there was like a filler arc with like they're basically vampires but instead of sucking blood they like suck energy and then i uh, got up to the point where red hair girl with the big titties gets kidnapped and they have to go to was it no i don't know bleach people know what i'm talking about and uh and i just completely and that was the whole um thing is like that's what was wrong with bleach is that it was the same story over and over again and the thing is i'd even make it through the, the second time they were telling the whole story again I um, mean, it was so much like soul, the whole Soul Society arc uh, with the kidnapping and they all got to fight battles, whatever. But I loved Bleach for those first about 100 or so episodes. And I don't know if I could watch it again, but now I can watch it on Hulu. Okay, that's one. If you know what that is, well, I should be embarrassed, but whatever. What are you going to do? And then here we go, Death Note. I was watching Death Note before it got popular, so... Yeah. <laughs> and um so here's Berserk complete. Uh what was really cool about this was um basically the person that had made the torrent with all the episodes or whatever, they went in and cut off the the intro song and the outro song uh to make all the sm the files just a little bit smaller which if I guess if they hadn't I wouldn't be able to get get the whole series onto one disc but yeah here's bleach it goes all the way up to 148 i'm not positive that i watched all that i really i don't remember paranora agent that's really good it gets really weird and then okay i can't pronounce this very good your curse whatever but if you want to know more about this series look up lord of the overfiend uh i tried so hard to find this entire it's not really a series. I mean, it's a series of films, but it's really hard to find, at least at the time, like completely unedited because it is technically hentai. Uh, there, 
there was a version of it released called Lord of the Overfiend in America that basically, you know, basically took all the sex in, um, or most of it and kind of made it not hentai. But the thing is, the story is actually really cool in the animation and just how fucking gross and bloody it is. I've got your sperm, now your blood. I fucking love that series. And I tried so hard to find like the entire thing. But I mean but this was like this was like at least ten year twelve years ago since I was downloading all that stuff. Um so who knows, maybe there's better versions, unedited, cleaner versions out there somewhere. But yeah, here it is. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Yeah, because there's one, two, three, four, five, then the new saga, which is different animation. And so here's the first one. I guess it was, it was like an A, um, um, what are they called? OAVs, um, where they were kind of like split up. But then, yeah, in America, they combined them into a movie and removed a bunch of stuff. Uh, Helsing could never really get into that. I downloaded it. I have it here, but I could never get into it. There's the rest of the death note. There I got Dragon Ball Z movies. I got Inuyasha movies. <laughs> uh, Ranma one half. That's a good series. That was like the one series I got actually get my well at the time girlfriend now wife to actually watch with me a little bit. So next we got Gundam Wing. Kill you. And actually, on this one, I have. I guess I think those are emulators, or maybe ROMs. <laughs> so you're getting a little bit of my video game stuff too. Uh, Baki the fucking grappler. So that sh that shit's awesome. Like. I love this series so much that I went to the trouble of hooking up the whole media server thing from my computer to my PS3, which I got actually right over here, to hook up to my TV because I wanted to watch Baki the Grappler, not in front of a fucking computer. Most of the, and that's another thing I'll get into that in a second. I didn't want to sit there on my at my computer chair, sitting on my little, you know, rectangle, not even a rectangle, it was a square monitor watching Baki the Grappler. I wanted to watch it on my big square TV. So I had it uh, using like the media center. If you've ever tried to do that with the PS3, and uh, it's it's a bitch. And it didn't always work. But when it did, it, it was fun. Because uh, there's Baki the Grappler, then there's Baki the Grappler 2. 2 is... I hated how much 3D they threw into that. Well, there wasn't that much. But... It's completely different than the than this first se first series season, I guess. But moving on, check out Baki because uh, it's on Netflix now. It's like a Netflix original, and they but it's the new season or new s series, whatever. But it takes place after Baki one and two. Here we get into my Inuyasha, and I I want to say quite a few of these Inuyashas. They are um the I think it's MKV, MVK format, which means you could actually have the English and the Japanese, and you could switch between the dot, the the uh, uh, audio tracks, which was kind of cool. Because most of these, everything in, in here is um, subtitled. Because a lot of it, it's was stuff that you couldn't even get over here yet. Inuyasha, on the other hand, you could watch here and I, you buy DVDs but uh, at the time I was like 18 and I wasn't going to do that next so get more Inuyasha there's I got some uh, Naruto and Death Note manga on that one more Inuyasha starting Naruto I I really got into Naruto and not in like a weird way I Watched all the way up to the Naruto Sasuke fight, 
and watched a few episodes because I already knew, thanks to Paul, how much fucking filler there was in the Naruto series. So, and uh, he was like, yeah, I don't watch after episode 170 so No, I can't remember. But after that Sasuke Naruto fight and... And uh, I was liking Naruto so much. I was like, oh, I'll watch the first. I'll watch some episodes of the filler. And I watched like two episodes. I was like, I, I'm not doing this. And I uh, luckily at the time, um, Naruto Shimpoden, Shimpuden had just um, came out. So I was able to watch those first few episodes. But the filler, or not the filler, just like the dragging out of that. It, it was too hard to watch. And I ended up reading most of the manga for it. So getting through that. Yeah. Oh, yep, here we go. She put in one piece, of course. The other major of the big three. Um and so and I know I I'm pretty sure I watched all the way up to that. And then I just kind of fell out of um one piece for whatever reason. Then we got Neon Genesis, which is now on Netflix. So check it out. And I got these yeah, I got the whole series plus the three movies. Well, the first movie, I think it's just like a recap. And I've never actually finished the series. I mean, I never, well, never finished the story. I did watch all the way up. Even the shitty episode 26 where they ran out of the budget and decided to just basically just annoy everyone. And But I never actually watched all three movies all the way through. And I really need to. <sighs> Rony Kenshin. Everyone had, so, like I just said, the big three. Um, One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach were like the big three, uh, the Shonen Jump. And uh, so, but, you know, for me, for my big three, it was Dragon Ball Z, uh, another one that I haven't gotten to quite yet, and then Rony Kenshin. I watched the shit out of Rony Kenshin, watched it every day on Toonami. When Toonami basically went to like Saturdays only, waited every week to watch the next episode of Roroni Kenshin. And I got all the way up through the uh, Shishio arc. And then I stopped because, once again, it was all filler. And I've heard people say that it's actually really good and you just got to kind of sit through it. But I, I've i never done it. But I did read the manga and actually get to read the real ending. And... uh I'm really happy I did that because it's a really good series. And here we go, Samurai X. Uh, so obviously not bootleg because I like the series that much. There we go, the rest of the Dragon Ball Z movies, including the two specials. I'm such a fucking loser that I, I specifically wrote the specials because of Bardock's and um, the Trunks story are not technically movies. Their episode, their their side stories, so their specials. Uh, Samurai Seven, you can never get into it. Downloaded the whole damn thing, watched about four or five episodes, and I just never finished it. Sayuki, I got more to say about that, but yeah, I actually own the first disc, and actually you'll see here that there's only six to ten. There's only what five episodes on there because. Once again, my buddy Paul loaned me all of his uh, Sayuki DVDs, and I ripped them, make a copy of the disc, and then put it onto the, uh, a blank. And they actually do work. At least last time I checked, they actually do work in a regular DVD player. But I wanted to jump to this real quick. Jump back. Shinchan. Obviously, this isn't the Japanese version. This is the the Adult Swim version, which is very different than the Japanese version, just because, um, you know, the jokes just wouldn't hit right because it's Japanese culture kind of stuff. That, And so if you've ever watched Shin-Chan, which is awesome, it's about a little five-year-old kid who's just a little crude little bastard. And... Um, and you can tell a lot of the jokes were obviously not based on the actual uh, script, Japanese script. And, uh, and that's what kind of makes it cool. It was it aired on Adult Swim and it, it fit right in with the kind of um, that kind of humor, the Tim and Eric, um, Aqua Teen kind of stuff. Not 
Do, let's do the trust dance of the manly brotherhood of men. Mm. To be a man, you must have honor, honor, and a penis. So I definitely say check that out if you can. Sayuki Reloaded. I have those episodes and I never finished them. I like the first series better. And I just never get into it. And there's the actual Sayuki movie. Uh, Samurai Jack. Well, I got... Well, Samurai Jack 2 and Disc 2, what? Basically, that's the whole series up before they re or they brought it back a few years ago. And then here we go. My third big three is Yu Yu Hakusho. These are, once again, they are dual audio. So I can watch in Japanese with subtitles. Or I can watch it in the amazing uh, English dub which I really love. But of course, once again, this is on uh, Hulu. It's on Funimation. So you don't need to be downloading Yu Yu Hakusho. But I do say watch it because it's awesome. Uh, well, that's not bootleg, but I got the Advent Children Final Fantasy VII movie. I got even got the, even got the two-disc uh, version. And I'm not even that big of a fan of Final Fantasy VII, but, you know. Uh, here we go. Grave of the Fireflies. This was basically the movie. Yep, and I even got the two-disc version also. Um, this was, like, the movie that basically made my wife not want to watch anime anymore. Oh, and here's some... This is probably the greatest anime I've ever seen. It's called The O.C. And that is, oh yeah, here's a couple more. Some Dragon Ball movies, the rest of them. And Animorphs TV show. Yeah, I even bootlegged that shit. Because Animorphs is awesome. But the last two episodes are like complete juddered bullshit mess. Like whoever ripped their DVD or whatever completely fucked up. So I couldn't even properly watch the two-part conclusion, which didn't really conclude anything. And now I'm talking about Animorphs instead of anime. But yes, this was my bootleg collection. I mean, I remember, God, being back in high school, staying up late, being downstairs. And, you know, we only had the one computer. You know, this was before you could stream stuff from like even in-home streaming. Um, I mean, we, I didn't even have anything. You couldn't even, like, put something on, like a video on a USB drive and plug it into your TV. We didn't have smart TVs back then. So I would literally lay on the floor. Sometimes I would sit in the chair. Other times I'd move the chair back, get some pillows, lay on the floor, and like move the computer screen as far up as I could and watch anime. I mean, late into the night, like a loser. All right, and there you have it, and there's my collection. I hope this uh, was at least a nice little uh, nostalgia for some of you guys. I'm sure most of you and have and probably still do uh, bootleg a lot of <laughs> anime. But, uh, you know, let's just be happy that um, we can now not steal anime from the Japanese. I mean, they've been through so much. They're strong people. Determined. There's nothing sadder than a sad Japanese man. Boy, I'll say.